The first conic section we're going to take a really in-depth look at is parabolas. Um, we did parabolas and quadratics um, way back in first semester. So um, some of the stuff is going to be revealed to you, um, and you're going to remember some things that you wish that you, you didn't, I'm sure. Um, but then we're going to learn some new things, because before we just did parabolas that went up and down, now we're going to do parabolas that go left and right as well. So our objectives, we're going to answer the question, how can you tell by looking at the formula of a parabola if it opens up, down, left, or right? We're going to write the equations of a parabola. We're going to graph parabolas using the focus and directrix. And we're going to analyze parabolas and apply that information to solve problems. So um, here's a parabola. Hopefully you remember like that curve in the vertex part. But this other stuff on here is new. So a parabola is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a fixed line at a fixed point and not on the line. <clears throat> so if you look at this parabola here, um, this fixed point here is the focus and this fixed line is this line down here that's the directrix. So if you were to draw um, from any point on your parabola, these will be equal distances, this one and this one. If I were to come over here, the distance from here, it would be congruent to the distance to here. So that's how um, a parabola works. Alright, so that fixed point is called the focus and the fixed line is called the directrix, which I kind of already told you. The distance between the vertex and the focus is the focal length of the parabola. So this distance right here from the focus to the vertex is called the focal length. And we're going to use that in our um, standard form, our general form of a parabola. That would be important to know. So make sure you write it down. Uh, so this particular parabola has a vertex at the origin. And if you want to um, find the like if you're trying to find your focal length or if you're trying to generate an equation given a focus or a focal length, use this formula 1 over 4c. And this is going to go into our formula for a quadratic. This is what our a value is. So if you remember when we talked about parabolas before, it was ax squared plus bx plus c equals y equals 0 if you're going to solve. So this a value right here is a very specific value. Um, we didn't talk about what it was before, so now, just so you know, it's 1 divided by 4 times your focal length, so a distance from vertex to focus. So, what is an equation with a parabola at the ver uh, with parabola with vertex at the origin and a focus of 0, 2? So we know that our parabola has a vertex at the origin, so that's here at 0, 0. 0, 2 is this point right here. So we know that our parabola, um, our focus is always inside the parabola. So we know it's going to be this shape. So our a value is going to be positive. So if we want to find out what that equation is, if we have a center at 0, 0, we have y equals um, ax squared. In order to find that value of a, we use 1 over 4c. So what is the distance from our vertex of our parabola to this um, focus? Well, the distance is 2 units, so I'm going to put 1 over 4 times 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. So our a value is 1 over 8, so if we just plug that back in, you get y equals 1 8 x squared. So that's the equation of this parabola. Okay, let's do another one. Um, what are the focus and the directrix of the parabola with the equation y equals negative 1 12th x squared? Well, if I know my equation is y equals negative 1 12th x squared, and I know my general form is y equals a x squared, and I know a equals 1 over 4c, I can plug this in as my a value down here, and I can solve for c to find out what that focal length is. So I have negative 1 over 12 equals, oops, that's supposed to be 1, 1 over 4c. Uh, if you remember, we can um, solve this by cross-multiplying. So we can multiply these together. Negative 4c equals 12 divided by negative 4. c equals negative 3. Or you could just ask yourself, what do I need to multiply this by to make this? Well, to make it negative, it has to be a negative number and 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So our focal length is negative 3. So ask us, what are the focus and the directrix of the parabola? So if I just did a quick sketch here, 
It says that, um, well, I have my vertex at the origin. I know that it's negative, so it's going to go down. My focal distance is three units away. So what is my point of my focus? That would be zero, negative three. My directrix is the same distance, the opposite direction, but it's a line. Oops, line. What is this line? It goes through the y-axis, so it's y equals three. So this is my focus, and this is my directrix. All right, what's the equation of the parabola with a vertex at 0, 0, and focus of 0, negative 1.5? So um, doing quick sketches of these are going to be very helpful to you. So f uh, center is at 0, 0. Focus is at 0, negative 1.5. So I know it's going to open down. My focal length, this is my C, is negative 1.5. So if I plug that into 1 over 4 times negative 1.5, 4 times negative 1.5, is 1 over, let's see, that's 4, and 2 more is 6, and it's negative. Negative 1 over 6, so if I were to write an equation, I'd write y equals negative 1 over 6, x squared. There's my equation. Cool? All right, <clears throat> for horizontal parabolas, all the same rules apply, except instead of doing y equals x squared, we're going to do x equals y squared. So um, you don't necessarily need to know all of this stuff because the focus is still inside the parabola. The directrix is still the opposite direction, same distance, same focal length. All right, so what is the equation of a parabola with a vertex at the origin and a directrix at x equals 1.25? So let's do a quick little sketch here. So vertex is at the origin. Directrix is at 1.25. Um, so... I'm going to make a line here. So this is x equals 1.25. So which way is my parabola going to go? Well, it's going to go away. So it's going to go left. So is that going to be a positive or a negative value? Just curious. It's going to be a negative value for my parabola. Um, so focal distance is still the same. Focal length from um, vertex to directrix and vertex to focus, they're both the same, except it's going to be the opposite direction. So we're going to do 1 over 4, and my focus is at negative 1.25. So I need to multiply those together. 4 times negative 1.25 is 1 over negative 5, or negative 1 fifth. So my equation is x equals negative 1 fifth y squared. So if you see an x and a y squared, or a y and an x squared, you always know it's going to be a parabola. All right, <clears throat> let's use some parabolas to solve problems. So we have a solar reflector. A parabolic solar reflector has a depth of 2 feet at the center and a width of 8 feet. How far from the vertex is the focus, and what is the focal length? So we need to find, um, have you ever seen like, kind of like a satellite? Um, I'm going to try and draw this. OK, so that's kind of like what a satellite looks like. Um, a reflector is kind of the same idea. So what we know is that we have a reflector. Let's go ahead and put it this way. So we have a, a reflector that makes a parabolic curve. Um, we know that it is two feet deep. So from here to here, this is two feet. And we know that it's eight feet wide. So from here to here is eight feet. Do we have any points on this curve? Well, we have the point at the origin. We have zero, zero. But we also have this point, 2, 4, because it's half the distance. I mean, uh, oops, I got those in the wrong order. 4, 2, there we go. And then we have 4 units the other way, negative 4, 2. So we can use these points in order to figure out um, what our focal length is. Oops. So since we have points, what we can do is we can use our formula, y equals 1 over 4c x squared, and plug in a point so we can find c. So let's do this for 2. We know that's on our circle. So we plug in 2 for y over 4c, and x is 4. So 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 4, um, well, 
is 16. Okay, let me just do it this way. 2 equals 16 over 4c. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so I have 2 equals 4 over c. I'm sorry. Um, and then c equals 2. So our focal length is 2. So that means our, um, our focus is actually on that um, solar reflector, like in the very center of the edges. So it's the point 0, 2. How far is it away? Um, so it's 2, and then our units are feet. All right. For transformations of parabolas, um, as long as you understand that the focus and the directrix are always inside, or the focus is always inside the parabola, and it's a point, and the directrix is always outside the parabola, and it's also a point, you don't necessarily need to memorize um, this stuff right here, or this stuff right here, just as long as you can apply those concepts. Those might be helpful for you to know, but not necessary. But your equation is y equals 1 fourth c x minus h squared plus k, where your vertex is at hk. Or x equals 1 fourth c y minus k squared and then plus h. So realize that when we flip the x and the y around, when it's y equals, the x minus h is together. And when it's x equals, the y minus k is together. So make sure you um, recognize that difference. So to analyze the parabola, what are the vertex, focus, and directrix of the parabola with equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8? Now, in order to do this, we need to put this in vertex form. Hopefully, you remember putting things in vertex form before. Um, we do that by completing the square, and we use that equation b over 2 squared. So our b value in this case is a negative 4. So I have negative 4 over 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4. So we need to have 4 right here in order to be able to um, make this a perfect square so that we can have it in our vertex form. So y equals, I'm going to write it, x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then we have 8. If we use 4, how many do we have left? Well, we have 4 left. So this 4 and 4 add up together to be that 8. We didn't get rid of anything, we just moved stuff around. Because we can factor this one into x minus 2 squared plus 4. And now it's in our vertex form. So they want us to find, um, oops, I'm just trying to grab the eraser. There we go. So they want us to find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. So our vertex is going to be the easiest one. This is in um, y equals, so x minus h squared, our value is 2, and our k is 4. So here's our vertex. So I'm just going to do a quick sketch. 2, 4. Does this parabola open up, or does it open down? It opens up. Well, left or right. It does open up because it's y equals. Now, in order to find our focus, our focus is some point inside, and our directrix is some line outside. In order to find that focal length, we need to use a. Well, if a is the value that's in front of our, um, our binomial that's squared, we can understand this to be a 1. So a equals 1, and a also equals 1 over 4c. So in order to figure out what our c is, we need to multiply this. So c has to be 1 fourth. So our focal distance is one-fourth of a unit away. So from our vertex, you have to go from the vertex. If our vertex is 2, 4, if our vertex is 2, 4, if we go up one-fourth of a unit, we'll be at 2, 4, and one-fourth. And if we go down one-fourth of a unit to find our directrix, we're going through the y-axis at y equals um, 3 and 3 fourths. So that's your focus and your directrix. Make sure you always go from the vertex. All right. And then um, the equation of a parabola. This is the last one. What's the equation of the parabola with a vertex at 3, 7 and a focus at 5, 7? 
So if I have my vertex at 3, 7, that means when I put it into my formula, well, here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's here, and then my focus is here. So that means my parabola has to go this way, so it needs to be an x equals. So x equals, and then my y, my value is being subtracted, and my x value is being added. So it's possibly this one, or where's the other one? Possibly this one. So we need to figure out which one it is. We need to find our a value. To find our focal length, our c is 2. So 1 over 4 times 2 is 1 over 8. So C is the correct answer. All right, hope you learned a lot about parabolas. I know that was a lot of information to take in. Um, but your homework is lesson 10-2, and I'll see you later.